All right, welcome to, what are we calling this segment these days? Behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, in front of the camera, behind the camera? Celebrating Easter with Father Michael and our Dominicans. Today, this Sunday, we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. And Divine Mercy is one of the richest traditions and devotions we have in the church. So just to break it down a little bit, unpack three aspects. The beautiful devotion of the Divine Mercy. The first is the origin of the devotion to the Divine Mercy. Many folks might be familiar with the particular devotion in the 1930s uh, given to us, but the Divine Mercy goes all the way back to the foot of the cross. In scripture, we see that as Jesus is hanging on the cross, he extends nothing less than his mercy, both the particular individuals and to the world itself. Do you know who the first devotees to the Divine Mercy were? Well, first of all, the good thief, who in those last moments of his life turns as he is able to the Lord and says, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And what does Jesus say? Amen, amen, I say to you, this day, today, you shall be with me in paradise. The extension of that divine mercy, or again, and perhaps more proximate in the Gospel of John, when the centurion, traditionally known as Longinus, pierces the side of Christ, and what flows out but blood and water. And in that moment, this Roman pagan says those words of faith. Truly, this man is a son of God. That moment of faith fills his soul and occasioned by the outpouring of blood and water, that is, those symbols of Christ's divine mercy. And so the first promoter of the devotion to the divine mercy was the beloved disciple, John himself who sees and is able to witness in his gospel to God's love coming to be. Because this is what mercy is after all. Mercy is the surprise of love, if you will. Mercy is showing love in places where it is not expected, in places where love is not necessarily deserved or perhaps looked for. And so it is on the cross in that moment of his death that Jesus shows most radically, most powerfully, his love for all peoples, even those who wouldn't expect it. And as we go through Easter, the stories of Christ then over and over again are about the outpouring of his love, of his great mercy. In every age, if you do a little historical tracking, there seems to be a wellspring of the devotion to the divine mercy in many ages, different societies of great mercy of our Lord. We think of the sacred heart devotion and that connection with the Immaculate Heart of Mary as well. But in the 1930s, uh, a young a Polish nun was given this kind of appearance of our Lord Jesus in the divine mercy. And from this, an image uh, was painted where you have Christ and flowing from his side in bright beams and bright radiance, red and white images of that water and blood which flowed from his side. During these days between Good Friday then and the first Sunday after Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday that Pope St. John Paul II has given to us, the readings that we hear are centered around the sense of divine mercy. And there is a devotion, a chaplet that can be said normally around the three o'clock hour, that hour when, our, when Christ our Lord gave his life and they're very beautiful, those reflections. The reflections, each one, takes a different segment of the population, those who perhaps are believers but are struggling, those who perhaps have given their life for Christ as a priest or a religious, those who are faithful to the Lord. And on each successive day, the Lord speaks in this kind of revelation moment to Saint Faustina, how at that moment of his passion and death, these different groups of people either inspired him to be mercy or encouraged him to be mercy. And I love that idea that divine mercy is not just a quality or characteristic of our Lord, but it is who he is. As St. John says, God is love. And in this Easter season, the Lord welcomes us not only to, in a sense, participate in that love or to receive that love, but he wants us to be active participants. He wants us to share and to share that love with others. So I invite you on this Sunday 
to open your heart wide to the divine mercy. Wherever you are, whatever struggles, whatever challenges, to trust yourself to the Lord. Let go of what keeps you from his presence and then share it with someone else. The great motto of the divine mercy is Jesu Ufam Tobi in Polish. Lord Jesus, I trust in you. Let us entrust ourselves to the Lord. Let us let go of what keeps us from him. Let us receive his great love and mercy. Let us share it and radiate that mercy to all. Amen. Amen.